Hey, David, how you doing? Good, how you doing, man? Doing good, doing good. So with Shine coming out October 5th, just got a couple questions for you. Uh, first one being, how do you think yeah. Shine differed from other projects that you've been a part of in the past up to this point? Well, I mean, one thing uh, great about Shine is, it, you know, it's, it's, it, it has to do with the culture I grew up in, you mm -hmm. know, and which is, which is always nice and, and informative. And uh, also the, the care and the, um, the commitment that was uh, presented by the director, Anthony Nardinillo, as well as um, the producers, the, the, the crew, and the other actors. I mean, it was a really wonderful, positive experience and a great representation of what I would want to see uh, about a family growing up in Spanish Harlem uh, that, that are you know, involved in music and uh, dancing and just um, the whole family structure of, uh, of it really it was attractive to me. And I was going to say, you mentioned it right there, you mentioned in past interviews that you kind of had an emotional attachment of or a connection of sorts to certain aspects of Shine upon reading up on it before you started filming. Uh, was that the connection, or were there any other specific things about the movie that kind of drew you to filming it, partaking in it? Um, you know, that was the main connection, that it was a, a familiar story that I don't see often, on, on TV or film, mm -hmm. and um, and so it was it was an opportunity to uh, be part of uh, storytelling of a culture that I grew up in and that um, was filled with love and, and positivity, um, and uh, and then also the, the the commitment and the dedication of the director, and uh, whenever you see that dedication, that commitment. Uh, it's you. You want to be involved. You want to jump on that train. You know. And how much research do you think kind of went into making a project such as this possible, in order to ensure that it was authentic as it could be? Well, I mean, it, 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 it felt authentic, and when I read it, I was, it was the most authentic script uh, about that area and about the music. Um, and so that was that was always something that you know uh, led me to it. And also, did you have any experience with hand drumming before filming Shine, or was that something that you already kind of had experience with? <laughs> I, I, no, I did not have any experience, but <laughs> uh, they, they set me up, they set me up with a, a, an amazing conguero who, um, who very quickly kind of uh, taught me, uh, you know, um, how to like, you know, not look like a, you know, uh, like I did not know what I was doing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh but, I, but you know what? It was something that, because uh, I've been, you know, trying to, you know, playing it ever since and learning more about it. It's something that I, I really, um, I, I grasped to, you know, it was great. So upon finding out that you had to do that for the film, were you excited for it? Like, oh yeah, I can't wait to, you know, try out this new thing. Were you nervous for it? Like, I don't know how I'm going to do it. Or was it kind of a mix of both? Well, I, it was totally exciting and and then also I was totally nervous, so mm -hmm. it was both. And, uh, <laughs> but, um, but that's why we do what we do here, right? We, we take risks and we do things of, in the unknown that we've never done, uh, and that's the one thing about, that I love about what we do. And did you, did you have to learn anything else new from the filming process for Shine that was completely foreign to you before? Uh, no, it just, just, you know, uh, just being involved with a bunch of artists that really want to be there and really care about what they're doing. And, you know, that's contagious. And that's something that, you know, um, I, I immediately uh, felt when I went on set. And it was it was a wonderful experience. Yeah, that was my next question for you. How was it like working with Gilbert Salvatar, the writer-director, Anthony, as you mentioned earlier, and everyone else a part of the cast who kind of said that played a, played a big role in you enjoying your process uh, and the filming and whatnot? Well, you know, listen, I, I, I'll tell you, immediately it felt like family. Mm -hmm. And that's when I knew I was in the right place, you know. And um, the young men that play my sons, you know, Jorge and, and Gilbert, they're just mm -hmm. amazing, amazing people, amazing young men, fantastic uh, uh, dancers, and just dedicated to what they're doing. They work hard because you see them day in and day out working so hard. So I... Um, I'm I'm a big fan of both of them and and Anthony, like I said, uh, I, I've 
you know, seen very few times you see a director so committed and so, um, so like driven to, to tell the story. And, uh, you know, that's, that's something that, you know, you always want to be a part of. And how do you think, how big of a role do you think music and the soundtrack for Shine kind of plays in the overall feel for the film, uh, in the overall feel for the film and also kind of differs it from other movies and TV shows out there right now? Well, it, it I feel it differs from it because there's such a history of it, mm-hmm. you know, and the Fanny All Stars and a lot of the music that was um, you're gonna hear in in the in the movie, uh, historic, and it's music that I heard growing up, you know, mm-hmm. um, in the Bronx and in Spanish Harlem, and so it, it, it's an important part of it. Music is an important part of it, but the other most important part of it is the the family structure and, and, and the representation of the family structure in that neighborhood and in that culture in, in, in uh, you know, uh, growing up in, in a Puerto Rican environment, Puerto Rican culture. And it's, uh, it's a great um, showcase for people that don't know about our culture and don't know what it's like to grow up in the you know, in, in, in Spanish Harlem uh, in a musical family. This is, this was, it was a beautiful story. And kind of speaking of which, uh, do you feel now is the perfect time for a movie like Shine to be released with where the world is today, or do you think it could have even been released a few years back? There's always, the, the, the time is always good for a story like this. Mm-hmm. It's always good. I mean, it's, it's uh, you know, we, we, we did this film, Hurricane Maria hadn't hit Puerto Rico yet, mm-hmm. you know, and so it was, it, it, the you know, it's something really important to, uh, to show people that you know this this we're, we're part of the we're part of the American fabric and we're part of of what these everybody has their culture and this is our culture and it's full of family and loving family just music and dancing and food <laughs> and all <laughs> this other great stuff that you know makes life so worth living. And in addition to family and a few other things you had just mentioned there, um, are there any other big takeaways from this film that you think viewers will have and, and coming away from Shine in regards to like the kind of the New York culture and stuff like that? Well, it touches on a lot of things. It touches on gentrification. Mm-hmm. It, it touches on um, family dynamics of, of, of family members going away and coming back. I think... Uh, you know, Anthony was really smart in, in touching a, a lot of these subjects, you know, that, that you know, and how how it's dealt with in the movie. Um, so, uh, it, there's always, the, the time is always good to show something like that. And final two questions for you first, and having been a part of so many illustrious projects over the course of your career, do you notice any major differences in partaking in an episode of a TV show and like Gotham and Dexter in regard, you know, kind of compared to taking part in a movie, or is it all kind of blend together for you at this point? Well, every project is different, mm-hmm. right? I mean, I, I, I think every project, you go in there and you uh, assess the situation and it's always a different experience um, I've been lucky where most of my experiences have been really good and working with great people and working with great artists um, uh, you know this this touched home a little bit for me because it's kind of how I grew up mm-hmm. and it's, uh, it was very familiar to me so as soon as I got off set I felt right at home and so um, but I don't compare that to other projects they're all special in their own way, and each character is unique in their own way, and uh, that's what I love what I do, because you have an opportunity to create a, a personality, to create a character different every single time. So, um, But this one felt, this one felt particularly um, like I was at home, so it was, it was great. And lastly, in addition to Shine, coming out on October 5th, are there any other projects you have coming up in the near future that you're excited to be either involved in or see released in the next couple months or a year or so? Well, I'm, I'm in, right now I'm in New Orleans filming a, a movie, Body Cam, called Body Cam with uh, Mary J. Blige. And uh, it's, it's a kind of interesting film. And so we're in the process of filming that now. That's probably going to come out next year. 
Perfect. Definitely something for people to look forward to in addition to Shine, like I said, October 5th out in theaters. Well, David, thanks so much for your time. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Take care.